I ain't kidding, you definitely got some time in the line when you're gonna be first chair. Oh, it smells like eggs right here. I'm meeting up with these three guys and this is not their first rodeo. They've been going out here and doing this for years. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going. Now I gotta say, I'm a little nervous about this because it's in the 20s outside. I'm having this new philosophy in life that I'm just gonna say, screw it, fuck it. let's go. Crazy town, man. Like walking around here, not knowing where anybody is, seeing this place dead. This is my buddy Tom, the one who invited me to come up here. And it turns out he's been coming up and spending the night at different resorts for 29 years. Is that right, Tom? Consecutive, yes. In a row. That's what consecutive means. How old were you when you first started coming up and you got this crazy idea in your head? I'm gonna spend the night at ski resort. I actually started coming up when I was 14 and 15, but I wasn't on first chair. I'd just come up and get second chair, third chair. You spend the night then spend, too? Spend the night, yeah, or super early in the morning, two or 3 a.m. You've done a bajillion different ski resorts over the years, not just A Basin, right? Right, Like all over Colorado or other states too? Um, just Colorado mostly for first chairs, but Wolf Creek, A Basin, Keystone, Loveland, Vail, Beaver Creek. It's opening day at A Basin 2021-22 season. Probably not good on the findings when it's like 20 degrees outside. What I've learned is that they all get here and as you can see, there's snowboards, and there's skis on the ground, there's lights set up, there's a generator, and they sort of put their stuff on the ground to sort of hold their spots. Ah, the lights are falling! Light down, light down! And from what I can tell, everybody's pretty cool about who gets here first puts their stuff down and they're just sort of going to their cars and rotating, sleeping, and they're not always just sleeping in their cars. Some of them are sleeping in areas that are just out of sight of the wind with sleeping bags. Some are hanging out over by the bar. People are hanging out in the parking lot in their cars. What's up, everybody? Astronaut! <laughs> what up? Random people sort of scattered all over the place. Tom said that uh, he's actually slept in line before and that's, that's him in his full spaceman glory. They said I might be able to like cheat and go sneak home and let my dogs out to make a poop and take a power nap and then come back. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to stay for the majority of the night. I'm so very tired. It's gotta be like two or three in the morning. The wind's picked up. It's getting colder as the night goes on. So we're running to our cars and taking turns to warm up in the heat of our cars and somebody's holding the line. Well, I'm gonna take a little power nap here. This is probably my first and last time to do this. 5 a.m. and I'm getting up to go see how the line is. It's gotten much colder, much windier, and I'm really, really tired. And I don't know how these guys did this for 29 years because my own bed sounds so good right now. Tom is over here holding down the fort. Nobody else in line, still just the skis and the snowboards. The sun's coming up. The attitudes have changed. People are getting excited. All my complaining last night of being cold and tired, well, it was legit, but it's definitely a different vibe now. I can see why Nate Dog, Trailer Tom, and Chad are doing this for 29 years because it's a pretty cool environment. Everyone's sort of just camaraderie is really just kicking off. You got guys cooking food for everybody. This dude makes a killer McMuffin. Now, I don't think I'm gonna start doing this yearly, but it's pretty cool even if you can get here early and you're not first chair and you're just in this opening day environment. I think one of the hardest parts besides the cold was they, they, they got the bathrooms locked up all night. So if you gotta drop a deuce, you got a problem. What do you guys normally do when you gotta take a deuce and the bathrooms are locked? You gotta hold it. You can't uh, give up the first chair just cause you had to go to the bathroom. Come on now. Chad's been waiting all night for donuts and boom, donuts. Were they glazed? I'll take a glaze. Wait, donut. Mm. And that, that's why we're here. 
This is the main reason we came for the free donut. Been here since Thursday. Run me through what the uh, what it was like when you decided to come on down. Well, for the last 27 years, we kind of know how to do this first chair thing. So, starting about two weeks ago, we come up every other day, just seeing progression, seeing how snowmaking's looking. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Sean Oz. I'm the owner of Summit Inc. in uh, Silverthorne, and this is my first time staying the night to do this. They talked me into it. Did you just ride, you said? Is it icy? Is there any un like groom patter anywhere? That you don't want to get into. Yeah. Good to know. We got about 15 minutes left and the lines are getting way longer. There you go, there you go. They just opened the ropes. There we go. Everybody's filming, screaming, hooting, hollering, and the rush that you're getting. How was your sleep? Oh, uh, not very much. <laughs> We're gonna hang tight until I say so, though, okay, guys? Now I'm starting to understand more and more why they're doing this. You sort of get a rush at this point. It's not, it's not like just getting first chair on a regular first day any old day of the year. Pretty cool. This is different. Let's slow it down. Wow, look at this. Give him as a banner now. I know. It's like a football team. You got to bust right through the banner. It's perforated. I wonder if the football guys have perforated yeah. banners like this too. Alright, we're going. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here it goes. I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. Oh. 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 Look at all those. 2021! Nobody in front of us, on the chair, going up. It all makes sense now. All night I'm complaining about sitting here sleeping. Why do they do it? Why do they do it? Now I know. You gotta earn your turns. We earned them today. Yeah. We're gonna just casually Cock and balls in hand, just take our time. Everyone behind us is gonna bomb because they wanna. that first run is just another run and everything's back to normal no more hooting and hollering no more adrenaline just we're at the ski resort glad you're not a bigger dude man Simon. That would have been bad news. I think that's the first time I ever grabbed somebody and pulled them back on a chair. Yeah. First time you almost fall off a chair? Yeah. So if you're watching this and wondering why Tom has been in a spaceman suit, it's because he is working on a snowboard movie. Is it gonna go to a DVD or to YouTube? What are you doing, Tom? Plan is Vimeo, maybe some limited edition Blu-ray DVD. Keep that in mind and I'll when it comes out, I'll make a video and I'll plug it on here so you guys can go check it out. This is one of his characters from the movie. So now you know why this man's dressed as a spaceman. Right, sort of a bit of a cluster today. We got kids falling off the lift, grabbing them by their coat, pulling them up. That was sort of scary. I sure don't want to see anybody fall off the lift, let alone a child. First ever. Whoa, and the line continues to grow. Now you can't make first chair, and most of us can't. The big point is to come still, and you see the crowds. Bring some friends, have a good time, and just enjoy yourself, because there is a vibe on day one of the season that's just not the same vibe that's in other days. Here's one time he tried to take me on outside turn four, out, motherfucker. Tell you what, he's still eating my rubber. Well, it's good seeing you as always. Why is Sean gonna bail on me today, guys? I just got here, come on, Sean. It's not like you just got here. No, that's why I gotta go. <laughs> I'm sleepy and my dogs need to poop. That is my last run of the day. So I gotta ask you, Tom, 29 years being first chair. Is it just as exciting for you 29 years later? Just gets better and better each year. Why? Just love snowboarding more every year. Hanging out with friends. You got time in the line to catch up and 
talk about everything that needs to be talked about. I ain't kidding, you definitely got some time in the line when you're gonna be first chair. Ooh, it smells like eggs right here. Blech. What an interesting thing that was. Do I think I'll do it again? I, I don't know. It was fun hanging out with these guys, getting to meet new people, getting the first chair experience at least once in my life. Trailer Tom, thank you so much for inviting me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that are watching. If you've been interested in what a basin is like opening day, the snow is pretty good. 18 inch base, it's, it's a little fluffing up as the sun comes out. It is a little bit crusty in the morning and it's probably gonna be that way for the next week or two. If you've got some friends you wanna come ride with, now's the time. The resorts are starting to open and I'll see you here. Keep your eyes open for me. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go out and share it because sharing is caring. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because that's how I keep getting to do more and more of these. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for your comments below. I appreciate it and I try to answer each one of them personally. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.